this event is being held at the uh, Feng Long Kong uh, Society building on uh, East Hastings Street. Uh, the uh, Feng Long Kong Society is comprised of uh, members of the Sit and Sido family. And uh, we bought this building in the early 1960s. Uh, a few years ago, they wanted to sell the uh, building. So my dad and uh, some other uh, clan members uh, wanted to stop the sale, and so we did. So we want to make sure uh, we don't sell the building. So now we have the uh, art gallery here and uh, different events are being held here. So today we're very happy to uh, have the manhole event held at this uh, building that we own. How did you decide to enter the contest? Um, I thought it'd be really cool to show something in public. Yeah. Did you uh, do it for a school project? No, I, I just saw this project and I thought it was really cool to enter it. To put something on the streets of Vancouver. I was around on the park board when we did this uh, in 2004 uh, with the other two manhole covers. There are over a thousand of each of those out on the street now. Um, and I can't wait for us to be able to announce the next two designs that will be out for the next decade of stormwater and sewer replacement covers. So uh, we're just uh, trying to save our, our building uh, just outside of Chinatown. So, uh, there has been a movement in and around Chinatown to maintain or renovate buildings, which various family clans own. Whether they renovate or not, many, clan, many clans will never sell their buildings. Chinese people often think of their clan buildings like a family home. It's the last thing they would want to sell. Quite legal, but you